Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont, founder of i30 Media Corporation, author of the Lee Media book blog and video channel available at leemedia.org. Today I will be talking about editing existing Amazon advertising campaigns from within the Amazon Seller app uh, with some caveats, and I'll explain those in a minute. But quickly, a disclaimer, what I'm about to show you, um, you are responsible for following Amazon's terms and conditions, and it's also possible to lose a lot of money if you do things wrong. So please do this at your own risk, follow Amazon's rules, and uh, that will make things a lot easier for you. So here is the Amazon Seller app. This is the iOS version of it. Amazon uh, Seller app for Android looks similar. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll down to where it says Campaign Manager. Now, uh, just to quickly explain what you're gonna be looking at here, tap on Campaign Manager. This is a version of Amazon advertising for ads that have been created in the campaign in the uh, adver advertising account associated with your Amazon seller account. This is a very I, I'm this is long and confusing what I just told you, but basically it's possible in Amazon advertising to have an account that's associated with your Amazon seller account and there's also possible to have a, an Amazon advertising account associated with other accounts you may have at Amazon. So for instance, I have Amazon Advantage, which is a, a separate program for publishers. So I cannot, I cannot edit my campaigns for Amazon Advantage. Uh, I, have to, I can only edit those campaigns which are associated with my Amazon Seller account. And if you go to the desktop version of Amazon Seller Central and then click on, I think it's advertising and campaigns, you'll see the same campaigns that I'm gonna be showing you here or you know the ones that you have. And actually I only have one campaign, active campaign associated with this uh, particular account. And I can update it, I can change some of the settings and I can pause it, but I can't create a new one. So that's important to know. Uh, as far as I know, there's no Amazon advertising application for uh, iOS or Android. I could be wrong about that, but I always use the desktop version, but I can make, at least I can make some small changes here. So let's quickly take a look at settings and see what's available here. So settings is just very basic. Um, like I could change the end date. Um, I could pause it or you know discontinue it by selecting campaign status and changing that. I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna hit back. What I do wanna do is maybe change the budget. So I'm gonna tap the update. The budget is $20. So I'm gonna change that to $25. Because actually it's a pretty successful campaign. It shows some basic stats about it. Um, you know, ACUS, that's advertising cost of sales, 8.42%. That's actually kind of a misleading uh, metric. Uh, but generally what that shows is the amount of money you've spent on advertising versus the total revenue on Amazon, uh, not including Amazon's own cut, which makes things kind of tricky. But anyways, there's other data there too, uh, clicks and the average CPC cost per click, 25 cents per click. So that's pretty good. That works for me. Uh, if it was not working for me, I might tap pause or I might discontinue the campaign or I might adjust the budget or something like that. So you can make some very simple edits using this feature of the Amazon Seller Central app for iOS or Android. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon Seller Central, FBA, FBM, Amazon Advertising, uh, Shopify, even WordPress, WooCommerce, I've created a whole bunch of videos available from leanmedia.org or you can um, you can also go to YouTube. If you, if you are on YouTube, if you could like this video or follow me, that would be much appreciated. And uh, thank you so much for watching.